Hey everyone, welcome back to New Content of Save Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to manufacture the products in one step. So Odoo allows the users to manufacture the product in one step, two step and three step. So when we are just using the manufacturing in one step, this always creates a manufacturing order. But uh, we cannot track the movement of the components or the finished products in the stock. And this also updates the stock counts of the components that is used for manufacturing the main product and this also shows the uh, finished products but we cannot track the components um, that is in the transfer movement to and from the uh, inventory and cannot be tracked that. So let's see how can we manage the manufacturing in one step in order to empty manufacturing module. To manage with the manufacturing in one step let's dive into the inventory module and under the configuration settings you just need to ensure that we have enabled the multi-step route because then only we can just manage the levels of um, manufacturing so as you just drag down here you would be able to find the warehouses where you can just enable the warehouses i mean multi-step routes of warehouses and you can save the changes that you have made later on let's move on to the configuration and uh, here you would be able to find the warehouses so under the warehouse you can see the section called manufacturing where you can set the stills that used to um, manufacture so we have set the manufacture uh, in one step later on. We can just uh, move on to the manufacturing module and here we are going to manufacture the product uh, table. So you can just consider different products such as uh, um, components such as tabletop and table neck and we will be using bolt also as a component and we just need to assemble all these components in order to manufacture the product table. So in order to do that we have to define a document in Odoo platform and under more you can see that uh, the bill of material where this shows all the details uh, such as the component details the operations that is used for manufacturing the item so under the components this list the um, things that is used or the components that is used for manufacturing the product table and this will be going uh, with an operation of assembly which means uh, all these components would be assembled from the assemble, uh, assembly line one work center and the product will be manufactured as we are just going to perform the manufacturing process you can set the BOM type as manufacture and in order for I mean in order to get an easy identification you can set a reference uh, as one step so once you have done with this you can just move on to the operations and here we know we just need to manufacture the item in order to manufacture the item you can just click on view button and you can add the bill of material so as you just choose the bill of material, all other details will be auto-populated under the components and work orders. Here you can see the components that is required for manufacturing the product table. Under the work orders, you can find that the operation that is going to perform will be assembly. That will be done under the work center assembly line 1. Now we just need to confirm the uh, manufacturing order. In order to do that, you can just click on confirm button so that the manufacturing process will be start day, starting there. But still we just need to assign the work center to start uh, the assembling uh, of the product. So for that you can just click on plan where you can see that currently uh, it's ready to start the work. In order to start the work you can just click on st uh, I mean click on start button where you can see that currently the work order is under progress. And um, this also mark the real duration that is required for uh, manufacturing the product table. And if you want to just pause the manufacturing order or work order you can just click on pause button so that you can just uh, stop or pause the work uh, of manufacturing the table for a while and once the manufacturing is done you can just click on 10 button so as you just click on 10 button here you can see that there are some invalid operations that you need to complete the quality checks using the shop floor before making work order as 10 so we have already discussed what is shop floor in a video. So if you have any doubt regarding that, you can just watch that video. Now let's move on to the shop floor of Odoo 17. And shop floor is a new module in Odoo 17, which would help you to manage uh, the work orders of different work centers. Here you can find the reference number and the product that is uh, going to manufacture. And this is going to manufacture from assembly line 1. And here you can see that we can also close the production which means we can just mark the work order as 10 so that we can say that the product is manufactured. But before moving on to that we just need to complete certain steps such as quality checks and giving other details. Here you would be able to find the worksheet. So 
um here you can just um, set all other details and uh, here you can find the worksheet that is used for manufacturing and uh, we can just uh, generate serial number which is for one quantity later on you can also set the picture of uh, the sn or the product picture so as you just move on to the pictures or downloads of your system you would be able to find uh, or you can just upload the uh, image of your table so let me upload the image and uh, you can also uh, set the choice of screwdriver and uh, legs and other details. So here you can find, you can just validate the components registration such as the table leg and all. So click on validate and here we just need to um, set the component registration for table leg. So let me uh, click on uh, the validate button so that we can just end that. Um, afterwards, you can just close the sessions over here and here you would be able to find if you want to do more steps like if you want to scrap this item, you can just directly scrap while manufacturing the item. So you can just add more components uh, while manufacturing the items. Or you can just move uh, to the work centers or suggest a worksheet improvement. So if you want to do any of these activities, you can just go backward. And uh, you can find all the MOs. And uh, currently we know uh, the work order is in progress because we haven't completed the manufacturing of the table. So in order to complete that, you can just close the production over here. Still, you just need to uh, complete the quality check. So here, let's uh, click on assembly line. And here you can see print labels and we can just confirm that. And um, uh, once we have done with that, you can just click on mark as 10. So as you just click on mark as 10, now you can just close the production. And uh, uh, you can see that we have just done with the manufacturing of the item. Now let's back um, to the manufacturing orders so that you can just close the shop flow. So in order to manage that, you can just dive into the manufacturing module and under the operations, uh, you can find the manufacturing orders and uh, or you can also find the work orders. Here you would be able to find the things and all. Uh, now let's move on to the um, manufacturing order and you can just uh, remove the filtration over here. This shows the yeah uh, quantity that is uh, produced and uh, um, I mean, uh, the product that is manufactured and all other details will be showing over here with the traceability uh, details such as the product that is manufactured uh, and uh, uh, the components that is used. And this also finds uh, the product movement uh, by taking or uh, uh, removing the components and creating uh, the main product. Now, uh, here you can also get the other details such as the overview. Uh, this shows the overview or uh, details such as the quantity that is used, the unit cost, the MR cost and real cost. And we know the MR cost uh, is finally calculated um, by taking the components price and here you can see that uh, we will get uh, the price over here. Later on, uh, you can also get the details of um, uh, valuation. So this shows the number of quantities that is directed and um, the final product that is created. So the number of uh, components that is detected will be indicated in a negative uh, sign and uh, the manufactured product will be indicated with a positive sign. So that's all about dealing with manufacturing in one step in Odoo 17. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the manufacturing in one step. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.